वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पैरल लाइंस ट्रांसवर्सल लाइन एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग एंगल्स नाउ यू आर फेमिलियर विथ व्हाट आर पैरल लाइंस पैरल लाइंस आर द लाइंस व्हिच डू नॉट मीट at any point even if they are produced on either sides transversal line is the line which cuts two parallel lines so i will draw a straight line this is straight line ab and another straight line cd these two straight lines will never meet at any point even if they are produced on either side therefore we call these two lines as parallel lines then a transversal line is a straight line which intersects any two parallel lines say e f is a transversal line which cut two parallel lines ab and cd ab at g and cd at h you know how to identify corresponding angles we must mark this one as a first line if we mark this one as a second line and this is a transversal line this is a right side of the transversal line and this is left side of the transversal line corresponding angles are above first line above second line are corresponding angles that is angle egb and angle ghd are corresponding angles below first line below second line are corresponding angles angle bgh and angle dhf are corresponding angles these are right side of the transversal line similarly we get corresponding angles on left side of the transversal line that is angle ega and angle ghc are corresponding angles and finally angle agh and angle chf are corresponding angles you know corresponding angle axiom that is if a transversal line cuts any two parallel lines then corresponding angles are equal similarly you must remember converse of corresponding angle axiom that is if a straight line intersects any two straight lines such that corresponding angles are equal then lines are parallel so if lines are parallel then corresponding angles are equal if corresponding angles are equal then lines are parallel these are the things that you must remember now let us know about alternate angles here alternate angles are the angles formed at the corners of the z english alphabet z see here english alphabet z is this so therefore alternate angles are angle formed at the corner of the z alphabet 
दट इज एंगल ए जी हैच एंड एंगल जी हैच डी आर अल्टरनेट एंगल्स सिमिलरली द कॉर्नर फॉरम एट द मिरर इमेज ऑफ जेड दट इज एंगल बी जी हैच एंड एंगल जी हैच सी देर फोर एंगल ए जी हैच एंड एंगल जी हैच डी आर alternate angles alternate angles angle bg hatch and angle ghc are also alternate angles so dear students just you identify the alphabet Z mirror image Z or N or mirror image of N. These corners we call them as alternate angles. Here alternate angles. एंगल ए बी सी एंड एंगल बी सी डी दीज टू आर अल्टरनेट एंगल इन दिस केस इन दिस केस ए बी सी डी इन दिस केस अल्टरनेट एंगल आर एंगल बी ए डी एंड एंगल ए डी सी हियर इफ आई नेम दिस वन एस ए बी सी डी लाइक दिस this corner and this corner that is angle abc and angle bcd are alternate angles in this case if i mark same abcd then this angle angle abc and angle bcd are alternate angles so in this diagram you must be in a position to identify corresponding angles alternate angles vertically opposite angles and adjacent angles here corresponding angles are angle egb and angle ghd are corresponding angles angle bgh and angle dhf are corresponding angles then angle eja and angle ghc are corresponding angles angle agh and angle chhf are corresponding angles then coming to alternate angles angle agh and angle ghd are correspond alternate angles angle bgh and angle ghc are alternate angles then vertically opposite angles easily identified because two straight lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles angle egb and angle agh are vertically opposite angles angle ega and angle bgh are vertically opposite angles here now if i come here angle ghd and angle chh are vertically opposite angles angle ghc and angle dhf are vertically opposite angles so remember if a ray stands on a straight line then sum of the adjacent angles formed is 180 degree this is very first theorem second theorem if two straight lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles are equal that is second now you are familiar with parallel lines a transversal line corresponding angles alternate angles now we can prove the theorem number 3 of 9th standard in the next video